to go. And our pitcher tonight, Merrill Kelly. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible Maybe job with like runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seems to play better in road games. Next offering upstairs. First out. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And now it's Mookie Betts. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Back up the middle and a base hit. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Fouled off. He was late. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. And a pitch. Ball two. Ground ball right side. Over to Perdomo. Out. That's one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. And now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Back here at Chase Field, and towing the slab here, Gavin Stone. Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So we're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. The wind and the pitch. And oh, another ball. Hard. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three. Got him swinging. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner with two strikes. You just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And here's a 3-2. Got it by him for the K. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's Jack Peterson. That clips the zone. It's 2-2. Two and two. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped left field. 
And it one hops the wall. Now he'll turn for second. Hernandez quickly throws it in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on him, man. He wasn't fooled at all. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Two outs. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here in the we desert, the here's the veteran outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. Well, Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well respected umpire in the league. Two two down. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. The batter now will be Will Smith. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Smith sizes this one up. They got it for out number two. And now it's Gavin Lux. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the second. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. McCarthy ranging back. And into the pool. It's out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Max Muncy, ball that two. funky Muncy. That one close, ruled a ball. And yeah, that's ball two. Garrett Richards, a guy who was originally a first-round pick of the Angels out of the University of Oklahoma. Two down, nobody on. Just off the outside edge. Full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. This one in the air right field. Carroll under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Leading Bottom up. half of inning right number back. two. And the now it's going to be Pavin Smith. Smith. Righty delivers. Missed with a changeup. Two and one. Late swing, foul to the left. Swing and a miss, struck him out. 
One out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. That just needs good. to let the ball travel a little Look more. And his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Next to hit for Arizona, Adrian Del Castillo. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses. Two and two. Base is empty one away. Bottom half of inning number two. That's hard hit in the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away now. Batting seven. The third baseman. Eugenio. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. The line to kick the pitch. Just missed. And a 2 1 hammered but foul. Two outs, base is empty. And okay. that one a little below the knees. Three and two now. Luis Guillorme waiting for a turn at the plate. Two outs. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And Arizona is set down 1 2 3. Nothing doing for Arizona. They trail here 1 0. And welcome back Miguel to the ballpark. Miguel Rojas the at the play. Miguel Rojas. That one finds the zone. Two and two <laughs> now. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. <laughs> high velocities these days. That speed differential is right where it needs to be. Here's Kiermaier now. And he deals. Hit in the air, left field. Guriel handles the chance. Now batting, the designated hitter, Shohei. Back to the top of the Ohtani. Dodgers order. Here's Shohei Otani. Left hand hitter waits. Hey. Good pitch to hit on a tee up right. in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A shot to the opposite field. His second homer of this series. And they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. Shohei leaves his mark on every game he plays. And he's done it again with the home run. Opposite field home run, and it's a warm night for sure. Ball's not being slowed as it gets up in the air to the outfield, so that had no problem getting out of here. Really nice show of power going the other way. Two outs, nobody on. Here's Mookie Betts. Good nope. eye in that spot. Two down, nobody on. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. And that one ripped to left. Guriel handles the chance. And Betts is set down. And that's the third out. Dodgers add one to their lead on the solo homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game.
bottom of the inning. Leading now it's the second the baseman, back. Luis Guillorme. The second baseman, Luis Guillorme. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Two two now. Now this is in the air down the line. Betts is on the move. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch and foul ground. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now, Geraldo Perdomo. His July and August splits there. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. Outside. And that nope. one's a little bit low. Three and one. Chopped out in front of the plate. On to first. Oh. And that is out number two. The right fielder, number seven. Corbin. This is Corbin Carroll. And the righty deals. That clips the corner. One ball, two strikes. The line of the pitch. Out to short, Rojas fires across the diamond, and that will end the inning. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. They trail it here, two nothing. Back here in the desert, start of the fourth. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Freeman. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. To the right side. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Up next to the Dodgers, the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And now Teoscar Hernandez. One down, base is empty. That's the third. Suarez He's throw out. to first in time. And Hernandez is out. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside Will. on him and got him to bounce into that out. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Two outs. Whoa. And now two balls Damn. and a strike. Good That's eye right three. there. A rare three ball count three ball, here. He's been strike. throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And Will Pitch Smith will take his four. base. He's got a really good eye. You talk about an offensive player controlling the strike second zone. Base. Will Smith controls the Gavin strike zone. Lux. So man aboard. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. The 1 1. And there's a foul ball. Smith, the runner at first with two gone. Hard ground ball, base knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. First and second, two down. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. The pitch. Stays alive. On the ground, right side, Guillaume. The throw to first, and that is the inning. Dodgers strand a couple, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Back 
here at Chase Field. Go. Now it's going to be Jake McCarthy. Left hand batter waits. At the ball. Well, these Diamondbacks just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. It's tough go. after falling well, behind a hitter or two balls and no That's strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Tying run at the plate. Oh. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Right-hander kicks deals. Here goes the runner. Here comes a pitch. Misses. Three and two down. If you were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. To the right side. Has some trouble with it. Gets it there in time, though, and they do get the out. Now batting. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved in the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Man at second. And a count one and two. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Move to second. McCarthy back on a dive. The pitch. And that's a strikeout looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. No big strikeout right there. No, and maybe a little controversial hey, with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that. And I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout. Making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Now up next for Arizona, Paven Smith. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Two strikes. pitch just misses without one man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets swing and a miss and that is that I think the key is arm action on the changeup when you can sell it like a fastball you drop the velocity you get the swing and miss and you walk off the field And we're back. We Top five, John Chambi with Chris the Singleton. And leading Miguel it off, Miguel Rojas. Rojas. Next oh, offering upstairs. Down. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. We got full count. Out to short, into the outfield, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now batting, the center fielder. Kevin Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Kiermaier. The 1-1. One -one. Swings through that one. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> 
and the pitch. Ball match outside. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field so that definitely felt good Shohei Otani up to the dish and a 1-1 right through there for a strike Rojas the lead runner at second Kiermaier at first with no outs To short, could be two. Now that. Well, every double play turn starts with getting one, and even yeah. though these players work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes at game speed, you can still mess it up. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get nothing. Tori Lavello is out of the dugout, and he's going to make a move here. Merrill Kelly will depart, and a line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Brandon Fack. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Now it's Mookie Betts. That one way outside. Ball two. Turns and fires to Betts. Base hit. One run is in. The throw in. Betts into second. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The pitch. That's ball two. Two more. The Dodgers trying to break this one open. And we're at the top of the fifth. Fastball in for a strike. And it's two and two. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. A.J. Puck up and throwing. Ginkle, a right-hander, loosening up as well. And he's swinging the miss. And that is a big first out. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. So two in scoring position with one out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. Here's a 1-1. Hernandez started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and James Kingsley says he won around. Kicks and fires. That That's one just it. misses. It's a good take. And it skips in the dirt. Still only one out here in the inning. Swings and misses. Struck him out. 
big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infielders in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Guillaume to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 4-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Adrian Del Castillo. And That's there's a ball. Too. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Anthony Bonda, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Hudson, the right-hander, also getting loose. the 2 one a swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone now to short sends it to first and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth up next to the diamond the third baseman hey you hey to and Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. The Dodgers leading by four. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hernandez sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's two away. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're the guessing batter, wrong 13. and their timing's off. Second baseman. So they're down to their final Luis. out. And now Gee, Luis Guillorme. And a pitch. Just oh, missed. Out. And they're at the knees. And the count is two and two. The Diamondbacks down to their final strike. That one missed. Two down, nobody on. Three. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And the crowd goes on disappointed as this one draws to a close. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.